Tonight, we look at Hollow Sun's new thermal optic. I hunt for a man, and we conduct heat. The thrill starts now on the 1911 Cinema. If you're anything like me, you grew up with 80s and 90s action movies being the source of your childhood inspiration. And one of the all-time greats is 1987's Predator. Predator, of course, could see in varying wavelengths, one of which was thermal, AKA heat. Fast forward the clock 35 years and Hollow Sun may have finally given us a sighting system that our dreadlock alien friend might be proud of. But he also killed Carl Weathers while he was dual wielding MP5s. So that predator is no friend of mine. Not today! The DRSTH on bottom is a standard red dot sight from Hollow Sun. And then on top, we've got a little bit of fanciness going on. You see a push of this button right here, and the optic transforms into a heat seeking optic. Run. Get out of here, seriously. You now, we reviewed and quite liked the night vision version of this optic, but thermal is a different animal. And with that said, I must put aside my childhood love of action movies to ponder, is this thing any good? Guys, we're gonna be showing you some really cool freaking thermal stuff here in a second. But before we do that, big thanks to the sponsor of today's video. That would be our friends over at Firearms Legal Protection and they're gonna do a giveaway for you guys. So here's the deal. Three months of the individual basic plan um, that covers you in your state, unlimited yep. attorney fees, attorney hotline, any legally justified weapon, all that kind of stuff. All you gotta do, go down in the video description. You'll see our link, right? The 1911 Syndicate link for the uh, FLP page. You click on that, there'll be a little box in there to enter the giveaway. You got 48 hours from the time this video comes out, at which point they will do a random drawing of everyone who is entering and someone from FLP will reach out. If anyone else, reaches out if, if someone's like, hey, my name's Tom and I'd like to get you some stuff. We don't know Tom. Don't know him. Okay, don't know him, never heard him, don't like the guy, nope. okay? You need to wait to hear from someone from FLP. They'll get you squared away with that prepaid three month membership. So check that out. Beyond that, they do have some other great plans. You can check that out on the same link that you'll click below. On with the freaking thermal party. Okay, everyone, so let's recap the features a little bit of the thermal unit. Now, we did do the night vision video, um, and so you can go get uh, basically the night vision version, but basically this and the night vision uh, version of the DRS really operate the exact same way. One's just thermal, one's, one's night vision. But hey, quick recap. So you got a daytime red dot. That's what's happening on the bottom here. So you basically look yep. through the little screen, you see your red dot. You can run it just like any of Hollow Sun's red dots with multiple reticle system. Um, it's got shake awake, you know, it's it's very standard Hollow Sun Red Dot. What you stuff, expect from right? Them. Yeah, exactly. Um, on top is where you now have the thermal camera, right? So that little lens there, that's where you've got your thermal. Um, 50 FPS on the refresh rate. Um, we'll show you an image here of the back of the unit in terms of the little button system and sort of how that works. You got your power button on top, and then you got a Variety of like five little buttons that basically control the whole unit on the thermal side of the house at the very least. So you do have a zoom feature much like the night vision one. Different power though. So where the night vision one's one, two, four, and eight X, this is one, three, and five X. Okay. Okay. So obviously thermal and night vision are different things. These are very close to being the same, but there there is a little bit of difference. You do have six brightness settings. Um 
when it's cranked all the way up, like things are glowing, you know? So it's like, you can take your pick. It's really easy to cycle through. It's just the little button that like looks like a star. That's the little brightness display, right? You can hit that and cycle through there. Um, you do have three digital reticles on the thermal side. I would also keep in mind that you can have the red dot itself on if you're like, all right, I'm less into the digital reticles. You could just run the red dot, um, but you basically wind up sort of slaving up the digital. Basically, you zero the dot, yeah. the actual red dot, and then you try to align the digital reticle with the red dot. That's okay. kind of about the best way. Lay I them on put top it. of each other, basically. Yeah, you just start using the the menu and the arrows and stuff, and you and you just you start tracking the digital reticle until you get it to where the the okay. red dot is. It's actually pretty intuitive, um, and you can always zoom to to get a tighter uh, image on. So. Um, We've got that. Much like the other unit, onboard recording for photos and videos, 24 gigs of memory, which I think is actually pretty damn impressive. Yeah. And um, you just press the little up button, takes a photo, you hold it down briefly, and it starts recording. You'll see like a couple little lights and sensors light up when it's recording so that you know it is indeed recording. And then you can just hook that up to your computer. There's a cable that comes in the box. It'll sync up with your computer. You can import the footage. Watch it, show your friends how cool you are with your new thermal optic. Um, it is powered by two rechargeable 18350 batteries. You can pop those out um, and throw them in a charger, or you can uh, just use the little power cord, hook it up to the, uh, plug it into the wall, hook it up to the optic, and you can just charge on board like that. Price is different than the night vision unit. So this one comes in at 1600 bucks, so you're paying about an extra 400, right? Yeah. Um, I completely tap out on being any expert on digital night vision or thermal, but that would lead me to believe the thermal simply more expensive. I mean, to, that's the logical conclusion. I guess. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. smarter people than me got to answer that one. <laughs> so anyway, 1600 bucks. And the real question becomes, what's it like to shoot? All right, everyone. Frosty night here in Utah. We're going to talk about what it's like to actually shoot this thing. So Chris hasn't actually looked through it yet, minus maybe the SHOT Show floor. No, I didn't even look at it then. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So I've got your red dot on super low setting right now. So I'm going to start recording. That way the people at home I can't see. can see what you're seeing. So it's just one press of the up button. All right, Chris, but here we go. We're going to sync this up, right? Three, two, one, hitting the record. Now you're recording, so now everyone can see basically what it kind of looks like. Huh. Check that out. Different heat source. No way. So we've got a couple little fires that we built. Uh, huh. A couple little mini campfires and a road flare down there. Um, that is kind of kind of cool, man. Does the target uh, sort of illuminate at all with heat? No, not I at all. I wasn't sure if the fire was going to... No, it's just way too cold. Heat it up. Yeah, of yeah. course. Thanks a lot, Utah. <clears throat> but you can see around it rocks that have heated up that are like a good distance, eight inches or so away from the fire. Yeah. And those are hot. Yeah. Look at that. And it just overlays it in a real good way. Yeah. Okay. So, it, you know, it's... There's certainly... There, there's little doubt that there's more sophisticated thermals out there. But we start playing the cost, you know, benefit yeah. versus cost kind of kind of game where you're like, all right, sixteen hundred bucks. We got a daytime red dot with this thermal system on it. Yeah. Um, point at the truck because the truck was just on. Let's see if that engine's maybe like kind of glowing at all. Oh yeah. Okay, so the light from the fire through the optic makes it a little tougher. Yeah. But now looking at the truck, I mean, I can see through the grill. The, the wheel wells are warm. Um, where there is a light on in the cab, I can see. Cool. Check that out. Yeah, that's much cooler. All right, guys, if you're ever looking for a way to support us, mm -hmm. outside of just watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, great. We are a real estate company, believe it or not. Jake's licensed here in Utah. I'm down in Arizona. We have affiliates all over the country. You need help with the real estate, we're your guys. We also have a Patreon. If you just want to throw money at us, we do some limited release stuff there, like some watches, some lighters. We also host classes from reputable instructors starting all over the country here recently. Yeah, it looks like so. we'll probably have one on the East Coast later this year. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yep. Not so telling you, you who it's with, but it's someone you would know. Yep, my bad. So if you've been watching for a while, wanna support us even further than just watching, there's some ways. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, this is, it, it, 
The only way this video works is if you guys can kind of see how this thing actually looks. You just seeing us on camera look through this and go, wow, like that doesn't accomplish anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start recording and um, we have a coyote on set. And um, I will go ahead and clarify to everyone that wants to be a dick about this in the comments. Gun's completely unloaded, bolts down. So, because the reality is coats and all this stuff do kind of hide that heat signature. But Finn ain't got no coat. So Finn, let's go for a walk. Run, Finn. I'll walk around, it's okay. Everyone can deal with it. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so this is way different now. Dude, I can see his ears, his tail, each individual leg. Yep. I can tell when he's looking at me and looking away from me. Yep. Wow, okay. So this is drastically different. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna look around the desert a little bit. Nothing, nothing. Come back to Finn. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I can see legs, him walking. I can see the cool spots on his fur. Yep. Check that out. Okay. So now he's in the brush. Brush is too thick. Oh, nope, there he is. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Pee on something, Finn, come on. So that's pretty cool, huh? This is actually much cooler yeah. than I thought. Like, th that was the, the moment of like, oh, okay, that's actually pretty rad. The, the thing where it, it really starts to make some sense to is like a nighttime sort of hunting, down and dirty hunting gun. Like Absolutely. nighttime hog hunting, something like that. And this does look better from this distance with the fire too. Yeah, nighttime hog hunting. Yeah, would be pretty badass. Oh yeah, yeah. For, for, for the budget, you know, minded person. Yep. It's like, sure, you can get a better setup. Yeah, no question. Um, but this system that's a daytime and then this nighttime thermal at 1600 bucks, I mean, shit, man. <laughs> like, you know, it's what are kinda we- cool. What are we talking about here? I mean, this is pretty yeah, rad. See if I can find the coyote again. Yep, there he is. Yeah, and like I can't see shit with my naked eye, so. Yeah, he's sniffing the bottom of a bush. Anyone got a pee? I could pee. I don't know what he's doing. So let's see if I can see the, the urine. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There Some you go. Big old puddle of Jake's. Something Jake's, warm right there. Jake's, uh, Jake's juice. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's a thing. Jake's juice? <laughs> of all things you could have said. I don't know. It felt right in the moment. It's slightly embarrassing for you. Where's the uh, animal? You should at? be straight back behind you to your right. There. Down to the right, right, right. There. You see him? I hear him. Oh, what is oh, that warm thing over there then? Well, it picks Where up. Where he just went. Yeah. Because um, there's something warm over there that I thought was him. Yeah, no. I, 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 You know, everything, to my understanding, everything in the world puts out varying degrees of heat. Yeah. Right? The bush right now might be warmer than the rock. So you're seeing varying degrees of heat. Finn's yeah, gonna a, Finn's gonna glow like a Christmas tree. Well, and that that over there was glowing like a Christmas tree. So no, I, it's warm. There's some warmth that's affiliated with the earth right there. That's strange. Right. Interesting. But anyway, guys, that's some like kind of little first reactions here. I gotta tell you, you know, when you look through this though, it makes you 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 remember Predator? Yeah, classic. It does kind of make you wonder if you could hunt a human with it. Run. Run what? We'll put 30 seconds on the clock. We'll give you guys an insider tip. You're not saying I'm running out there. At the end of the video, we'll tell you guys the watch of the day here. All right, 30 seconds starts now. All right. Get out of here, seriously. You motherfucker. Put Finn in the truck. Fifteen seconds. -ish. Put Finn in the truck. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the dog back there. Why not? Even though Finn would be a good hunting partner. Hey Finn. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, buddy. Guard the truck. That's close enough to thirty. We'll just go ahead and start. So, <clears throat> for those of you freaking out right now, don't worry. You'll notice the blue mag, the blue bolt, the blue can. 
It's called Sims. Here's the deal. He's not a small man, so it's not like he can really hide that well. bear, sasquatch, or a blow. Negative. <laughs> Neither. Just wasted a round. You shot before you PID to target? Well, there is significant heat there, which does lead you down the path of uh, a demon or something was there. Not bad. I'm Oh, I got a good lead. I got a good lead. <laughs> we got a bear down. We got a bear down. Got my nut. Oh, that's a nut shot. Now, I couldn't see which direction was your head. I just saw a blob of heat and I just sent it. Was it an actual nut shot? Yeah, you did. Oh, which is kind of amazing given how small that target zone is. Fucking nailed that roast. Fucking <laughs> nailed that roast. Once I, now I took a shot at something over there. I saw that or heard it. I'm pretty sure some sort of demon spirit or something because it's a lot of heat. Pull you the layers, you hit literally like right here. <laughs> and I was like crouched to the point where I was hoping you wouldn't and you hit like right there, dude. Oh man. So thankfully the layers, pants were taut. No I'll harm, no I'll foul. Tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll let you take one shot at me. I will, you, you will have the gun, I will take off for 10 seconds. You gotta give me, not even 10. You give me eight seconds to haul my ass and then you can start mag dumping at me. From right here? But you have to stay stationary. From right here? I can be a moving target. From right here? Well, yeah. Nine, eight, seven. No, hit the on board seven. record. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> How, you said eight? Eight seconds. Seven, six, five. Four, Keep your light three, on, Jake. Two. No? Oh, yeah, that one right there. <laughs> I could hear that that was a hit. Turn around. No, don't hit me facing forward. Yeah, turn around. No, that hurt. Stay right there. No. Dang. I can see you real well, dude. Right below the, the butt cheek. I got tagged somewhere right in here. Let me see your light. I got tagged somewhere. Move your hand, here. bitch. Right there. Right there. Oh, not the Fjall Ravens. These are new Fjall Ravens. Oh, too. I got you two times. Yeah, right I got here? hit twice. In there. I took two to the leg. Good group. And just kept. <laughs> group. I'll just, take that group. <laughs> just kept moving. That's a crispy. You want to get shot? I think I'm all right. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, let Thank us know. You. We're yeah. happy to have lunch. We'll save it for a day where I misbehave. I think I did okay today. You did. You powered through. Okay, so let's go through some sort of some final thoughts and, um, you know, uh, all, all that stuff in regards to the thermal optic here. Some of this we covered on the night vision one about a month ago at this point. Um, so you guys can go get some of that recap. But I guess the first thing I would just tell you is... Hey, this is Gen 1 tech, and I think that's very important to keep in mind. Yeah. Um, I will give you an example of that. I told Hollow Sun this, and I still can't quite come up with, with the answer for it. So basically the first night out with it, the only way I can describe it is I think the refresh rate was off. Okay. So, and maybe we'll even be able to show you some of that footage. We might still have it. So like when I was tracking a moving target uh, in the form of wild animal, um, a moving target was real choppy. Okay. Where it was like, oh boy, so this is 
rough. I was like, this is might be fine on a stationary target, but this is going to be real rough on a okay. loading target. Okay. And so that was my first impression, right? It was kind of a funky first night where I was like, I don't know, man. I'm kind of uncomfortable. Skeptical. Like, like I, don't, I don't quite know what to do here. And... Um, and I think it was just a glitch. I think it was just some sort of bug in the system or whatever, because ever since that night, mind you, I did not reset the, reset the system. I didn't do anything. I've charged the batteries just to keep the, the unit charged up. Um, and it went away and it's been perfectly smooth. And on the subsequent nights, I was like, oh, hell yeah. I was yeah. like, this is what this this is Shines about. Out. Yeah. And um, so again, I say that only to illustrate the, the, the point of, hey, look, it's Gen 1 tech. Is it gonna be perfect out of the gates? Maybe, but I'm just saying, hey, you might be subject to some little glitches or something like that where, hey, you might have to reset the system or, or you know, something to that effect. So just be aware of that. What was kind of your experience in relation to like other stuff you played with or anything like that? Yeah, so other stuff I played with at a previous job was a $17,000 unit. Yeah, nice. Okay, it can be a dedicated unit. It can also go in front of like a, a LPVO or a Red Dot or things of that sort, right? So like... That is not even a fair comparison, right? It's not, uh, not at all. Having said that, this exceeded my expectations for a $1,500? $1,600. dollars optic. This exceeded having previous exp experience with, it's the Pixels on Target Voodoo S. It's a $17,000 unit. Okay. Comparing the two, I was like, eh, we'll see. And I was a little biased because I had the previous experience. Looking through this, having the, you know, a, a live wild animal to look at through it. Yeah. It exceeded my expectations. Yeah. It is better than I thought it was going to be. So same. Once I got through that first night, on the, all the subsequent nights, I was like, dude, this is legit. Yeah. I mean, at that price point, I was like, dude, this is fantastic. Yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, you really got to look at this and go, I don't know, man. I don't really know what you can, a whole lot you can find a complaint about. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll tell you this in terms of like maybe which unit would be more practical if you're going, all right, I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to get night vision or thermal. Which route do I go? Um, I think the thermal might be a tad bit more complex from the end user perspective. There's more... Um, there's just more options in yeah, terms yeah. of how you can run thermal yeah. than night vision. So it's like, you might have to play around with it a little bit more. That's really, hey, a couple hours of your life to read the manual and set it up. And Tinker. you shouldn't really have to touch it at that point unless something dramatically changes. But in terms of which unit is more practical, night vision unit's about 400 bucks less, okay? So that's a factor. I think night vision overall, and for me, I'm gonna use my use case, would be, a little more fun and a little more practical. I think I would huh. use the night vision unit more than I would use the thermal unit. Okay. Okay. That's that's, that's for me. Yeah. Um, because again, a lot of times, uh, you know, I'm out after dark, and um, you just go, look, man. At least again, a down and dirty sort of Nods truck gun. I can, you know, kind of look out, just you know, see if there's anything out or whatever. It's like, yeah, you can do this with that, but the difference is, hey, I can just shoot standard targets at night with the night vision one. This, it's like, well, you need the heat source for this to really come I see to where life. You're going with that. You know, so it's yeah. like, I do feel like I would get more use out of the night vision unit on top of being 400 bucks cheaper. That'd probably be the route that I'd go. Okay. See, yeah. and I'd probably go this route just because I could see more use for thermal being daytime and nighttime. Yeah. Right? Sure. So. Um, so for me, final rating, looking at the unit, um, I've been quite happy with it. I think I'm gonna just match what I did on the night vision unit and give it a solid B. I think that's fair. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, um, this is the worst this will ever be. This will only get better from here. Yep. There's really not much in the way of competitors of this as best I can tell, especially at that sort of price point. So you go, look man, kudos on coming out with something that I think the market's really gonna be excited about. Is it perfect? No, but is it pretty darn good? Yeah, I yeah, think so. Especially for the price. I and again, so. being Gen 1, yeah. only going to get better. Absolutely. And for those of you wondering, hey, Jake, what's been on your uh, wrist all day? Let's talk about that. Look, we all know that gun guys are also watch guys and they're whiskey guys. They're all, they're, much you're so. all the same guy, okay? You're, we're all in the same degenerate boat of spending money on a bunch of stuff we don't need, okay? <laughs> um, so you should probably have a good watch to go with your cool gear. Our friends over at Wolven, we'll spell that on the screen so you guys can look it up. They actually have a YouTube channel too you guys can go check yep. out if you want some watch content. Um, but they are a basically a luxury watch dealer um, yeah. based in Texas. They'll ship all over the country, so that's a, that's a non-issue. But sort of the watch of the day, I mean, how nicely paired is the Sitka multi-cam with the green Type-A rifle with the green dial 
Panerai submersible East with the Steel green model. strap. I, I mean, you're just like, hey, man, there's a whole vibe thing going here. And I'm not a fashionable man by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but I got to admit, this is a good combination of things right here. And I feel very good about it. Um, they carry some unique stuff, too, like Richard Mill. Yeah. Patek. Any yeah. of those more upscale, kind of harder to find things. Yes. And everyday stuff like Omega, Panerai, Tudor, things of that sort. Yeah, real chunk right. change, right? Panerai's. So. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean it that way. No, no, no. But Richard yeah. Mill stuff can be like quarter million dollars. Exactly. So, um, you know, there's levels to the game, and they play um, at a pretty wide range of that level. Big time. So, Which I um, like seeing. Uh, yeah. Family owned and operated out of the DFW area. Thank you to the boys over at Wolven. Really appreciate it. Super cool. See you guys next week.